broken windows, trash piled six feet high, and an overwhelming stench. Residents in Lake Isabella told me that this property has been a nuisance for years. In Lake Isabella, I'm Corey O'Leary, and I spoke with Code Compliance about this property, and they told me that demolition isn't far off. There's a lot of new people that have come here that have started businesses and they really want to bring Lake Isabella back and they want to get it flourishing again. I'm one of those. Stephanie Blankenship, owner of Sequoia Mountain Apothecary, opened her business in November near the corner of Jerry Avenue and Lake Isabella Boulevard, renovating the space to open up her new store. There's such a need to rebuild Lake Isabella. Lake Isabella Boulevard is the main commercial street in Lake Isabella, but it's dotted with empty storefronts. Blankenship says one of the empty buildings across the street has caused persistent problems and that homeless people live there on and off. When tourists and people come into town, this is one of the first things they see. And I put myself in their position and I go, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'd want to shop at this store right across the street. The building is filled with trash, windows are broken, and the structure is dilapidated. Blakenship says she believes this building is a public safety hazard. There have actually been three fires in that building. She's been talking with Code Compliance. Recently there was a fire, so now we've changed our focus to demolition. Al Rojas, Code Compliance Manager for Kern County, says they've been aware of the property since 2020. They've had six cases since then related to the property and have cleaned it up six times. The owner has not been responsive to any of our notices. Rojas told me Code Compliance is in charge of bringing properties that violate the ordinance code into compliance and that demolition is one of the final measures they will take. Since the property has become a hazard, Code Compliance has already started Started that process. We've completed our title search. It's a matter of notifying all lien holders for the property. Once that time has expired, I believe we're halfway through it, so probably in another two weeks, then we can solicit bids to demolish the structure. Blankenship said code compliance has been responsive and communicative with her. I actually had requested some information and they gave me the information on the building and what they're trying to do. The demolition is a relief for Blankenship and she told me she hopes to see increased resources in the Kern River Valley to help those experiencing homelessness. We really need support for them up here. We don't have it and we really truly need some support so this kind of stuff stops. Rojas told me that roughly 25% of abandoned buildings in Kern County that have code violations have owners that aren't local. In Lake Isabella, I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter.